So the Milo Police Department's post we told you about just a minute ago created a lot of discussion on Facebook. It sure did. Some who commented seemed to believe the department's assertion that no one has the right to resist arrest isn't quite accurate. So New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen set out to set the record straight. It's a question that's causing a debate on our Facebook page. Do you have the right to resist arrest? We set out to verify. Our source is Maine law professor Jeff Thaler. He has both taught and practiced criminal law. Thaler says in Maine, people do not have an inherent right to resist arrest. There is a state law that was uh, amended and enacted in 2009 that says that people do not have a general right to resist arrest or detention. While it is illegal to resist arrest, if you do, you could take your case to court. And there are two arguments you could use that may lead to an acquittal. The first, you could argue that you reasonably believe that the person was not a law enforcement officer. An example of that is if the officer who arrested you was undercover and didn't identify themselves. The second. You can persuade the judge the arrest or detention itself was unlawful. An example of that is if you can prove the officer had no probable cause to stop you in the first place. That being said, there's a provision under the law that specifically protects Maine officers from aggression. It essentially says even if you believe a uniformed officer has acted unlawfully in stopping you, you may not use physical force against the officer. You do not have a defense at that point. That is a crime. The Maine legislature in 2009 made a decision that under those circumstances it would err toward the side of protecting the officer. The verdict, while a person may be able to fight the charges in court, you do not have the right to resist arrest in Maine. With your Verify, I'm Hannah Deneen. And a little bit more on this. Here's kind of an outline of your rights from the American Civil Liberties Union. Number one, and you've heard it on TV many times, you have the right to remain silent. But if you don't want to talk, just say your name and say out loud that you wish to remain silent. If authorities want to search your person or your home, you can refuse. They may still search, but by actively refusing to consent, you may be preserving your rights if the case ends up in court. And another one you've certainly heard on TV. If you're arrested, you have the right to an attorney. And if you cannot afford one, the court will assign you one. For a full list of your rights, you can check out our website or our mobile app.